So this study is uh, a study that's involving CAR T cells, and that's uh, short term for chimeric anti antigen receptor T cells. So these are cells, uh, T cells are T lymphocytes that we all have in our body that help us to fight infection and help us to fight cancer. And these are cells that in cancer patients have gone haywire and they don't fight the cancer properly. So this study is to try to take the patient's own T cells and to take them outside their body and to um, re-stimulate them basically to be able to fight their own cancer. So the process with this is that we uh, take the patient's blood outside their body through a process called apheresis and um, it's a process where the patient has a specialized catheter placed. They have cells that are taken out through the catheter into to a machine that separates out the red blood cells and platelets and white blood cells that we're looking for. The white blood cells that are the T cells are shipped to California to a um, processing area through a specialized laboratory and the cells are basically engineered to allow the, the T cells to, to fight the patient's own um, lymphoma in this case because they've lost that ability to do that. So the cells are taken outside the body and they're processed, they're, they're basically like a, kind of like a snap mm -hmm. so that they can go back into the patient's body to be able to recognize their own cancer and to fight that with this process. So it's a, a process that takes about two weeks to get the processing done. Then the cells are shipped back here in the meantime, the patients have received some chemotherapy to try to fight the cancer. And then they have an infusion of their own T cells that have been modified so that they can now recognize their own lymphoma and fight that. They're in the hospital for typically about seven to 10 days for that process. And then they would be monitored very closely afterwards. So the entire process from start to finish, probably they would need to plan on being in the Omaha area for at least about three weeks. And then of course for further follow-ups afterwards. So the patients that are eligible for this trial are patients with uh, relapsed B-cell lymphomas. So these are, this is a subtype of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it's patients who have failed standard chemotherapy or perhaps failed a standard um, bone marrow or stem cell transplant. And they're, uh, or they're not eligible for those types of treatments. And now they're, they're looking for another treatment that would be beneficial for them. They otherwise have to be um, in good enough shape to undergo the treatment because it is an intensive treatment. Uh, but it's a really great opportunity for patients who otherwise have not been able to have a remission from standard therapy. So benefits are that the patient is able to receive a new therapy they would absolutely not otherwise be able to receive for years to come because it takes that long to get these types of treatments approved. Uh, some of the treatment aspects that would not be standard of care are paid for by the study. Standard of care aspects like scans or blood work are paid for by their standard insurance and we check that beforehand to be sure that that's okay mm -hmm. for each individual patient. And um, basically it's a benefit of getting, getting something new that that many patients can't have.